On January 10th and 11th, I was one of four girls that was involved in the death of Shanda Cher. I didn't know Melinda. I'd only met her once before. That night, she was agitated, and she didn't want Shanda around Amanda, and that's what the whole thing was about. She was gonna beat her up. It was gonna be Melinda teaching Shanda a lesson to leave Amanda alone. That night, I was the one that was driving us to Shanda's house. Tony and I went up to Shanda's door to ask her if she wanted to come with us. When Melinda came out of the back seat is when she had the knife with her, and she started threatening Shanda. We drove to the witch's castle, and we all went up into the little rock shelter. Melinda was more taunting her, and oh, I was being a bully, too. I was laughing at her, making remarks about the situation. I bet you're going to leave Amanda alone now. Laurie wanted to leave because there were cars driving by. We drove right past where Laurie lives to a wooded area, and that's where Melinda and Shanda fought. Laurie was goading Melinda on and encouraging her anger. Laurie just wanted to see a fight. I mean, it just was out of control. Melinda was going after Shanda with the knife, and I didn't see her cut Shanda with it or you know, stab at her or anything like that, but she was holding it up to her, you know, threatening her with it. Melinda or Laurie yelled at me to get out and open the trunk. When I got out of the car, Shanda was unconscious. That's pretty much when I started to freak out. I thought Melinda and Laurie have definitely crossed the line that there was no coming back. I drove us to Laurie's house. Tony and I got out and Melinda and Laurie left. We didn't, they didn't tell us what they were gonna do. So we just went in Laurie's room and then her dad came in at one point and asked where his daughter was, and we said that she was with Melinda. I never told him that Shanda was with them. I didn't say anything about her being with us at all. I was scared to say anything because I didn't know what was happening. I just didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to stop it. I know that it's selfish and I know that it's wrong, but I didn't want to make them angry with us. I just didn't know. I don't know exactly what time it was when they left, but it was daytime when they came back. So it was hours. We just laid there and went to sleep. When Melinda and Laurie came back to the house, they told us that they had killed Shanda. When Shanda was in the trunk, she had blood on her face, on her body, her hair. I mean, she was tortured. She was beaten badly. We kind of figured that she was dead. It, just was decided that we were gonna burn her body to get rid of it. We drove to the gas station. We purchased a two liter of Coke. The Coke was poured out and gasoline was put in a two liter. We drove to uh, out into the country. We all thought that it was nowhere. We were stupid. We didn't think there would be anything there for anybody to find. We were dumb. It's not like we knew what we were doing. Laurie opened the trunk and Shanda was in there and Laurie kept yelling at us to help her and Tony was like, I'm not getting back out of the car. And I said I didn't want to help her. I, said, I was like, I'm not going to help you. And Laurie yelled at me to get the two liter out. So I grabbed the two liter and I went to hand it to her. And she was like, no, just pour it on her. And I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. And she said, just do it. Just pour, just pour it on her. So I did. I was the first person that poured the gasoline on Shanda. And I don't know who lit the fire. It was either Laurie or Melinda. And then they came and got in the car and we drove away. And then we did drive back because Melinda was worried that the fire would go out. So Melinda got out and poured the rest of the gasoline on her and threw the bottle and then got back in the car and we left. You know, something to start out all like fun and games and it's just gonna be, you know, a rowdy night and turn into something so incredibly beyond anything that you think you could ever be around. I just didn't know that it was gonna end up the way that it ended up. And saying that, I can't even say that I still would have done anything differently because I just didn't, I don't know what I could have done. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.